Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Izzy from PowerLiftingToWin.com, and today we're going to be talking about bench press pause length. So, before we can get into any real detail about that subject, we need to take a look at what a few of the rule books say to get an idea of what rule we're trying to follow here. So, here's the IPF The lifter must lower the bar to the chest or abdominal area, hold it motionless, after which the chief referee will signal the audible command press. Okay, we're going to go to the USPA rule book now. The lifter must lower the bar to the chest and hold it motionless on the chest with a definite and visible pause. Different rule for sure. SPF now. The bar must pause on the chest and the lifter must wait for the head judge to give the press command before beginning moving the bar upward. And finally, let's go to the UPA. The lifter shall lower the bar to the chest belly area and wait for the head referee signal. The signal shall be an audible command press and given as soon as the bar is motionless on the chest. So maybe for some of you it might be interesting to note that several of the rule books actually say nothing about a pause at all. It, it really begs the question, who's right? Should it be motionless or should it be a clear and definite pause on the chest or something like that? And I think you have to keep in mind the original intent of the rule. The original intent of the rule is to prevent people from bouncing the bar off of their chest. Okay, I mean, we don't pause our squats to show how strong we really are, and we're not pausing our bench to say, hey, look, I can pause the weight on my chest. The whole point was to prevent people from bouncing the bar. So the reason why the original wording is motionless is because even if you drop the bar down on yourself really fast, if you require the bar to become motionless, well, we know that you're not gaining anything out of doing that anymore. There's no stretch reflex. There's no bounce off of the chest. So in reality, even though we've all come to know it as the pause bench, the pause is just an artifact of the bar eventually becoming motionless. In my opinion, the rule book should say nothing about there being a pause, and these judges that keep enforcing a, a, a pause where you're just sitting there holding the bar are misinterpreting the intent of the rule, in my opinion, just straight up. Really, the whole point of that rule is to make sure that you're not bouncing. So as soon as the judge can tell that the bar has stopped moving on your chest, they need to be giving you the press command. There is no sense in these one to two second pauses and meets. It's not the point of the rule, and you know I just think that the people who do that are flat out wrong. But you know I'd be interested in hearing what you guys think about this. And one more time, I'm just going to include two bench presses, one from the UPA, the first one, and then the second one is from the IPF, and I'd be really interested to hear which one you guys think is a fair, a more fair pause. I definitely prefer the first, but hey, everybody has a different opinion, right? For more information on powerlifting, check out powerliftingtowin.com.